holy shit, there are a lot of people here. Right? So, whew, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you guys all for coming to my talk. I can't actually see all of you because the lights are so bright. Um, anyway, um, I've had been at Breakpoint and I've spoken to over hundreds of people and I think the general consensus I've gotten is that people are super optimistic about Solana but very pessimistic about crypto. And, you know, in general, people are like, well, what's, what's the point of one million transactions per second if all we're doing is trading shit coins? And, you know, this is like people are asking for something real. People are feeling fatalistic. They're feeling like hopeless. They, are, they look for something real. And so we got to fix that. We, I think the truth is that crypto needs more than just speculation. We need ways to spend, save, and create value. So one of the things that we're launching today is Sanctum Creator Coins. So, what are creator coins? Well, creator coins allow anyone to build, grow, and monetize their community. Now, how creator coins work, actually they're LSTs under the hood, but when I say LSTs, nobody knows what that means. So, what you need to know is that your, you, one creator coin is one soul always. This is backed by Sanctum's unified liquidity layer. When you hold a creator coin, your staking yields go automatically to the creator. And if you don't like the creator for whatever reason, you can exit at any time without losing your money. Creator coins are permissionless. Anyone can create their own coin. They're unruggable and they're sustainable. For the creator, depending on the price of soul, um, you receive roughly around a dollar a month for every coin held by your supporters. So, oh, sorry. One sec. <laughs> um, so, Creator coins, there are obvious use cases for artists, influencers, creators. But when I say creators, I actually mean um, in, it, in a broader sense. When creator doesn't mean just you know, someone who posts on YouTube or whatever, but a creator means someone who de delivers value, right? creates value in any way. And so one interesting idea of how someone could use a creator coin is Flojo. Now, Paul, who is the founder of Flojo, him and his wife were super burnt out on crypto. They wanted to build something that would solve this burnout, help people focus, right? Building an energy drink that is actually good for you. And so he's a Web3 native, but he's building a very Web1 product. And the creator coin lets Flojo skip kind of like traditional advertising where you have to pay, you know, all the Web2 incumbents. And he's able to build a loyal community directly, you know, us, without paying the middleman. And as you'll see later, um, we, we, uh, the, the Flojo coin lets him reward holders as well. One of the other ones by our community members is Bang Shark. So Bang Shark is one of our earnest, most earnest community members. He, his, one of his family members tragically passed away because of a, a clinical um, error. And so he started a clinic of his own to try and fix this problem, to offer high quality, um, high, like high, really high quality diagnostic tests. And this is an event where he kind of gave, he, he ran his clinic in Surabaya. Um, he gave everybody who came like free, free tests, free blood tests, and free medication if they needed it. Um, here are some photos. Um, here are them doing the thing. And, uh, you know, here's this, you know, this is, I mean, he printed all of this, right? I didn't do it. Um, and this is really cool. Why am I telling you these stories? I think that the reason is because, you know, creator coins, behind every creator coin, there should be a creator with like a story. And we're, we're giving this kind of new money Lego for people to play around with it. And we see, you know, because they're permissionless, they're composable, we're excited to see what people build on top. The next thing, oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> uh, here's the QR code. Uh, you can scan it. And we're, we're opening signups. It should be live in the next two, uh, next two weeks. But please scan the QR code if you want to create your own coin. OK. The next thing I want to show is the cloud card. This is a... Uh, <coughs> Uh, this is a card that is the first world's Solana debit card. So it allows you to spend stables and SOL in 100 plus countries. And this is a collaboration between BaseApp and Jupyter, my two favorite protocols. Right? So we're super happy to have them on board. Um, and I think there are a couple of announcements about debit cards today. I think what we're trying to do is build a card that you actually love. And you know, Solana's composability lets us build something that's really like, delightful, something that you have fun build, um, spending. 
Um, and you can see, you know, uh, as I've said about the creator coin, you know, if you, you know, holding the creator coins, you can claim your rewards here, be it free flow Joe, and potentially sort of native token in the future. So that's what we have for the card. Uh, this is the QR code. Uh, join the waitlist today. I will wait like five seconds. Three, four, five. So to wrap up, what we're doing at Sanctum, right? We want to let people spend, save, and create value. And that's what I wanted to show you guys today. And there's one last thing. Yeah, Wonderland is coming. Right. Thank you very much.